Welcome to this section of Mastering Excel. We're going to learn about the order of operations in Excel. Now, Excel at its heart really is a math program, so there's just no way that you can get around dealing with Excel without knowing a little bit of math, and we've talked about that before. So inevitably, you'll be adding and multiplying and subtracting things, and you might scratch your head a few times if you're not really um, well-versed in math. Now, I come from a background of teaching math, so I'm, I'm kind of aware of this, and you should take a few minutes to learn it as well. What if, for instance, I'm going to do some simple calculations. I'm not really even dealing with formulas, just doing regular old calculations. What if I say, um, what if I want to do something like um, 2 plus 10 divided by 5? How do you think this is going to, what do you think the answer is going to be? Well, a lot of people would say, well, it's going to be 2 plus 10 is 12 and then 12 divided by 5, which is going to give me some decimal answer. So let me hit enter, and you'll see that the answer is not a decimal answer. It's an even number. It's a 4. So how did that happen? That's because when we're dealing with uh, expressions, or math basically, that have addition and division mixed in, what always happens is the division happens first. So what you really have is 10 divided by 5. That gives you 2. And then that 2 that was basically coming from this gets added to this 2, which gives you, whoops, which gives you the 4. So 2 plus 10 slash 5 is going to give